Hey there, welcome. If you are a business owner here in the Bay Area and right Solano County and you are running Facebook ads or different type of online advertising and you just want to know how can you reduce the cost of the expenses that you have in, then stay tuned. I got six tips that may work for you. Hi, my name is Leo and in today's video, I'm going to be covering six tips to reduce the Facebook ad cost. Um, and if this is going to be important to you, uh, welcome again. I have a company called Digital Track. You can definitely just type in digitaltrack.co. Uh, come to my website. Um, uh, you can call me 707 410 0307 in, in my email info at digitaltrack.co. And if you are a business owner that has been trying to uh, find somebody to help you to reach more customers online, either because you don't just don't have an online presence and you would like to enhance that, or perhaps you do have an online presence and are looking for somebody else to help you because you've been doing it solo and you just want somebody else to uh, do it for you because perhaps you're, you're busy with other areas of your business. So if that's you, if any of you is in your situation, let's go ahead and, get, go ahead and call me, send me a, a text, send me a message on Facebook, just a real simple question that you may have, right? You wanna get a one, one-on-one -on -one together, you in the local Bay Area, uh, we can do that. Or if you're not close by, we can definitely do a phone call. Anyways, enough about me. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So if you've been looking to reduce the cost, one of the things you can do is basically uh, split testing everything, right? I, I, I'm sure probably you've been in situations, or maybe go back and think about situations where uh, you had to test something within your the way you build it you build your business so you know come with the same mentality uh, in reference to advertising not everything will be a home run at once again go back when you started your business think of all the little things that you try all the failures that you had and all the good things, great things that led you to where you are, your business right now, right? It was a, um, a process of failure and, 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 and failure and obviously victories, right? Victories. You had your bad moment, you had your great moment, but the only way you get a high, your great moment most of the time is because you had those bad moments where you learn from, I know, I, I, in life, we do that. I do that myself. Uh, my bad moments, I learn from them, hopefully, right? Sometimes we're so stubborn or um, something. We have even bigger issues. But most of the time, you know, we have the bad moments. We learn from it and, and take actions from there. So this is why split testing is, is everything. Um, you learn from the mistakes and then you find something that works and then you stick to what it works until you then are able to, um, not able to continue using it. But you have to use a similar concept. And just let me check here my audio. Uh, looks like uh, my audio is good, okay. So it applies the same concept, right? Uh, check, go back in time since the moment you started your business and think about all the uh, errors and your road to the success that you have right now to where you are right now, right? Everything that you went through, it was just basically think about it like a test of everything that you did, right? Because you learn, you made, you made mistakes around the road. You learn, you made progress and it takes you to where you are right now. Um, so come with the same mentality with advertising. Keep an eye on frequency. So with Facebook ads, it shows you there's a, a sentence, there's a report within the back office that tells you um, how frequent is your ad being seen by the people, by people, right? That where you, by people that Facebook is putting your ad in front of. Now, a couple of things to keep that in mind is, um, number one, if it's too low, more likely you, it doesn't have a great effect on people, right? Your ad, yes, can be a very effective, very appealing. Um, but again, let's keep in mind that <clears throat> there is the, there's the online world so fast that we get so bombarded with <clears throat> so many things at once. For example, think 
about go back and, re and remind yourself go back go back and think about the last ad you saw you know if this is an ad right now that I'm running think about even before that the last ad you saw where I don't right now I'm trying to think myself and right now I cannot put my head into one right that I can remember and the reason why is because again um, everything is so quick and online um, we get bombarded with so many uh, news and advertising that uh, frequency could be in your advantage right by by doing it in a strategized way that your ad shows up to people more than once more than two times more than three times three times preferable five um, However, I know depending on the areas or, and the budget, that may be too difficult. But again, I wanted to go back and, and explain a little bit what the frequency is. So that's what frequency is, right? It's basically the amount of time that your ad is being shown to people um, within Facebook or other platforms where Facebook advertises. So you don't want to get that number to be too low because that means that your ad is just quickly being seen and forgotten, right? Um, but you don't want to be too high either because then your people are, that are looking at, at you on Facebook either will get mad and, and angry and annoyed and that could lead to that could lead to you being to uh, them reporting you to Facebook or it could be your competition right noticing that you're doing that wrong and will go and report you and just basically it's gonna raise gonna raise a lot of uh, it's a, a bad attention or not attention at all because at some point we may be seeing the same ad at, uh, so often that we tend to put a block right that it doesn't matter how many times we see something uh, it, it, but because it's not because we've seen it so many times we, we tend to put a, a block or a shield or some type of protections that we even know if it's in front of us, we don't see it. Uh, so, so similar effect happen if if you if the frequency is too high. Now, this is not a um, uh, dead. This is not a deal a break a, a deal breaker, right? If you gotta have it like a specific number, no, don't stress yourself about having a a good number because that is not ultimately what decides yourself but again it's good to keep that metric in mind that at least your ad is being shown more than than twice and a good number perhaps could be within three or five uh studies i think i've seen is uh sometimes clients or customers consumers may have to see something seven to twelve times before buying um, every pe people has different buying cycles. You might be in a awareness situation where, where you're just looking, you're just shopping around. Think about the times that you go into the stores and you're just basically looking around. You don't even want to, the salespeople to approach you because, again, you're just starting. Then perhaps you get into the education phase or the interested phase where you actually look to talk to people and educate yourself. You actually look for videos and look at reviews on websites. And then, of course, you may be on a phase where you're ready to buy. Um, so that going back to where I say that studies now show that people may see or consumers may see something between seven to twelve times before buying. That, that varies for that reason, right? Because there are many people that have different buying cycles. Uh, but if if <clears throat> if companies attract that all along the way, uh, that's usually the average that they see. Now, <clears throat> that's basically with the frequency, keeping it at a number where you know that you're going to be relevant by, the, by at least showing it often, but not too often. Keep your ads new and fresh. So that's tip number three. Okay, You always want to make sure that you are constantly updating your ads. If you run even the most successful campaign for six months straight, it will run out of steam eventually. And that's true. Um, Come on, let's think about something that gets bored. Uh, nowadays, a lot of things get bored easily. Um, you think about a, a song. Obviously, a classic song will last 
for a long time. Even the classic songs, at some point, you know, if if they're so popular, they put it on the radio, they put it everywhere. That at some point, perhaps it may annoy you. Uh, later on, you may you may uh, you know you may hear the jam your your song years from now. It may it may say something like, "Oh man, that that was my jam, or that was my song." Right. So even if you play something too often, it still is gonna burn out. Even it doesn't matter how much you like. Um, same same thing happened with every object, right? When we wear a shirt, even if it's our favorite shirt, shirt we wear it so often that it wears out. Well, same thing happens with the ads, right? It doesn't uh, even if it's the greatest ad, eventually it will wear out. Your audience will get bored of it, and so you gotta be fresh. Now, think about um promotions that you may have going on this is something that i'm sure you're gonna see if you're running promotions i'm sure it's something that you're gonna see that it tends to go down and that's why a lot of successful business around the area that i see they have promotions constantly rotating right so that, that way they have the year full of uh of new exciting things for the customers that they don't get bored and so the same concept you gotta play apply for your store. You perhaps may have one month, one deal, uh, but the next month it will be a good idea to change it so that your audience doesn't get tired of the same promotion. It definitely would be nice, right, if it could run the same ad over and over again, because come on, that will be uh, less job, less work for you as a business owner. Uh, but you wanna be like the Geico commercials. You know, there seems to be a new one and a funny one and uh, and a new character or, or a joke every time you turn on it to be all state. Uh, is it all state? The, the guy that, that, would, that comes out with the mayhem thing? I don't know. I can't remember right now. But they're definitely entertaining, right? And it comes out with new and, and catchy stuff. All right, let's go over to number four. Choose your audience for each specific campaign. Uh, you should be choosing an audience specifically for each campaign you run or creating a campaign specifically for that audience. You do not need to include your entire target audience in every campaign. By doing so, you can drive up your cost a lot. Instead, focus on sections and subsections within your audience and sending them highly targeted messages will be more effective. For example, you have a restaurant and you are running a promotion with alcohol included, obviously you want you don't want to include uh, audience under 21 years old. Number one, you, your account will get in trouble, your Facebook ad account or any type of account that you may have on other advertising platforms that have similar rules, right? It may, it may be banned or it might be canceled or closed, right? Because I'm sure there's somewhere in there uh, private policies and their agreements, it will, it will tell you that do not run ads for where alcohol is involved to, uh, when you, and you target minors under 21. Uh, something else, let's say you are, have a HVAC service company and let's say it's summertime and, and, and air conditioning, it's, it's hot right now, right? It, air conditioning is, is, is demand Air conditioning repair demand is high, but if you're trying to perhaps get your calendar full for the rest of the summer, right, because you, you have plenty of salespeople, you got plenty of repair people, um, a good strategy will not be, for example, your right audience will not be, for example, uh, sending your ad to people that don't even own a home or... Um, or live in apartments, for example, where apartments may pay for it, may pay for the service, right? Um, the property management manager could be a better target at that point. But obviously, if you target the renters, they they're not gonna care about the promotions you may have going on. They're gonna go and complain to their property manager. So that's another example of not choosing a right audience. Now, let's say, for example, I want to run a spe special promotions to veterans and and military since. Uh, uh, Memorial Day just passed, right, for example, um, then obviously if the special promotion is for veterans and, and, and military members, obviously, right, you're going to be using, taking that into consideration where you go and set your audience target that you can choose between uh, uh, putting uh, and it's targeting to people that work in the Army or Navy or, 
or Marines or target people that put their symbols in their profile as veterans or the are um, Facebook has data that they are veterans or something like that, right? That's obviously a, and then obviously your your ad needs to be congruent with with who you send in uh, your audience. So, for example, right, the veteran sample, obviously that's gonna be much more targeted when you are, your audience is gonna be more related to veterans and, and, and military and you choose that within your parameters on Facebook. Uh, so the number five is focus on one precise objective. Facebook make, uh, makes advertisers, advertisers pick an objective as the very first step when creating Facebook ads. By focusing on one specific objective within each individual ad, you'll be able to make your call to action clear as well as to get that ad to the right audience who will convert on it, become a customer. What this so what does it mean? Focus on one precise objective. So if you, for example, get so specific in an HVAC service example again, right? It's summer. Obviously, you're going to be focusing on AC repair or AC installation, right? Or AC diagnostic. You're not going to be targeting uh, uh, heating repair, heating installation, right? When it's in the middle of the summer. Because obviously most people concerned that needs repair or installations are going to be on the AC. So that's it's it's about being precise in your objective, right? Being precise in an objective that you want to get. Now that's another thing, right? Let's say you you run in the ad. That's another thing about getting even more specific, right? In the summertime, AC repair, specifically AC repair, no installations or no diagnostic call, specific rip, AC repair. Another way to make it even more precise is Vacaville or Fairfield or Concord or Wonder Creek, whatever you are, right in the Bay Area. And even to be more specific, um, uh, you know, what else do we say? Um, so we'll say obviously AC repair, right? Then specific CD. If you want to be that way, right? It depends how big your city, the city that you are right now is, or you can do multiple cities. And so you just getting more specific, right? You just be basically our focus on one thing. And then obviously the promotion, what is it, what is it that you want to do? You want to just to let people know that you have the promotion or you, or uh, an objective to be for them to download a coupon, right? So if you just want people to let them know that you have the promotion, that's fine, you can just add, have your ad, you can have the text saying, hey, do we have this promotion, go ahead and call us, right? Or go ahead and send us an email, whatever. Now, if you want them to take an action, they all, obviously the objective could be, it's different, because then you're telling them, okay, we have this promotion, go to this specific website or page, so that way you can get, you can put your information, to schedule a call, and when you schedule the call online, you will be getting a coupon to get a specific discount based on the advertising that you were promoting or the promotion offer that you were advertising. So that's another way of being precise on, a, on your objective, right? To either just let people know what you got going on or to let people, or, or to provide instructions to people on what to do in order for them to take advantage of what offer you got going on. Uh, that, that was just two objectives, there's obviously more. So let's see, number six, and as you can see here, it's a quick, quick screenshot of different uh, objectives, right? Number one is awareness. Number two is consideration. You actually want to take people to a specific page or you want people to view your videos or to generate leads or to send you a message. And number three is conversion, right? You want people to actually buy from you, to visit your catalog, to visit your store, etc. cetera. Now, number six, choose the right image. Now, this could be um, something that you just basically got to play with. Uh, you don't have to spend a lot of time, but obviously image are important if you're going to be using an ad with an image, right? Uh, you want to make it congruent to what you got going on. Perhaps a AC repair and they do uh, service or let's say a restaurant that has Mexican food uh, obviously, you put in pictures of Indian food or Italian food doesn't really make sense, right? Unless you're one of this new fusion type of restaurant, Italian, Mexican, whatever. 
I know we don't, I don't think we have one in some other county area. That's another story. So choose the right image, right? If you are a Mexican restaurant, you probably want to choose uh, Mexican food and even more specific if you have a specific promotion just about burritos then obviously you want to have your a picture of your your burrito that you're promoting uh, if you are a chiropractor and are offering specific somebody uh, you know to to call the attention of people that have recently had been in an accident then obviously having a picture of uh, a person perhaps you know with pain on the back and an accident on the back background of Right, those are images that are that make sense to what you're saying on your text. Um, to to match the both of them, right? There's there's gonna be some kind of match. Obviously, the image as well has to be uh, has to cut cut the catch the attention of, of the person, the audience, because again, there's so much so many stuff going through the through our news feeds and, and uh, all the other areas with advertising that. Um, the image has actually has to have that impact to be able to catch our eye quickly. Um, video is, is really good to do that. So if you're comfortable making video, if you have the budget to pay somebody else to make a video for you, even better, right? So those are the six um, things that I wanted to cover. Hopefully you got some video, some value of this. And again, you can visit digitaltrack.co in case you want to know more. Um, if you, in case you want to get other trainings like this one, you can head out to the blog section. Um, you can text me or call me if you have any questions. You can email me and I'll be more than uh, happy to, you know, meet with you or get on the call with you to uh, see if I can provide any additional value. Have a good one. Bye.